self-driving cars, smart cities, fully connected homes, robots. This is the future, and it will be powered by 5G. The G stands for generation, as in next generation wireless network, and it's going to be fast. About 10 times faster than the 4G network on your phone right now. Today, it takes about six minutes to download a 3D movie on 4G. With 5G, it'll be 30 seconds. But 5G is about more than just super fast downloads and fewer dropped calls. It's really about connecting the internet of things. All those sensors, thermostats, cars, robots. Right now, 4G just doesn't have the bandwidth for all those devices, but 5G will. That's why it's a game changer. Imagine self-driving cars instantly communicating with traffic lights and other cars, or a surgeon with VR equipment and special gloves operating remotely on a patient thousands of miles away. 5G will make that possible. But when? 2020 is the working date for most of the wireless industry. The four nationwide carriers are already testing the technology. Chip makers are building processors and radios for 5G communication, and network equipment companies are building the backbone. But the future won't come cheap. 5G signals are powerful, but they don't reach as far. Making it work will require thousands, maybe even millions of mini cell phone towers pretty much everywhere you can imagine. Like every lamppost, the side of every building, maybe even in every room of your home. That's why rolling out 5G to the entire United States could cost $300 billion. 